Today we're filming from our showroom in Queensland on the Sunshine Coast, so you might hear some other chimes, strikes, cuckoos, lots of different sounds going on in here. So this morning I just want to run through this beautiful grandfather clock from Hermley. So this is one of the smaller ones in our range, a Westminster chiming, eight-day mechanical chain-driven grandfather clock, or long case clock as, as they're also known. So this one is stained in a walnut finish, so it's not a solid walnut timber. All the mouldings around the top, the case and on the door, around the base, are all it's all solid timber. Of the case, the, the box behind here is made from a pressed timber and laminated. So that helps to create stability in the case and gives it a really, really lovely finish to the clock. This one's got some fluted columns running down the side and little brass collars just accentuating the, the brass finish in inside the clock of the dial and the weights and the pendulum and then we'll open the door and just have a little look inside here so we've got roman numerals on the dial this is a, a a printed chapter ring and at the top we have the moon phase and this is showing you the phase of the moon as it cycles through the 29 and a half days each full moon three weights and your pendulum we're going to have a listen to the chime in this clock. So we're going to do the Westminster chime. This is the full chime on the hour here. So it's going to do all four bars of the chime and then strike nine times for nine o'clock. Now the clock's fitted with a couple of great little features. So one of these is the automatic beat adjustment. That means you can give the pendulum a nice wide swing and the clock will find its kind of its own level position for the pendulum to, to give a nice beat. Um, so you don't have to have the case perfectly level. You need to get it fairly close. Now the other thing is it has an automatic night off option. So this lever underneath here, when we push it up like so, puts it into the automatic night off mode and the clock automatically stops chiming after 9.45 and resumes at seven o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna go around now. We'll hear a quarter of the chime at quarter past nine. Got half the chime at half past. And this is gonna be the last one in the evening. So we've got Three quarters. And then we'll find from here, right through till seven o'clock in the morning, it's automatically silent. And resumes chiming at seven. You can also silence the chimes manually at any point. So we've got another little lever here that we can push up and then the clock is silent. So if at any stage you need to turn the chimes off, you can do that. Now each weight has a, a function. It's driving a part of the movement in the clock. So we have one weight for the chime every 15 minutes. One's for the pendulum and one is for the strike on the hour. So each one of these, over the course of a week, they're all going to travel down in the case and then each one has to be wound back to the top. Just by pulling on the chain, we wind all three back to the top. Now I mentioned one is for the pendulum. Being a mechanical clock, you may be required to regulate the speed of the clock. So when you, when you get your clock home and you set it up, you may find in the first week that it's 
maybe gained five minutes, something like that. So we need to slow the clock down. Now to do that has a little nut on the bottom of the, the disc and you have to wind that nut down or lengthen the pendulum to make it swing wider and run slower or wind it up to increase the speed of the clock. And each time you make an adjustment, you just reset your hands and then you can read your adjustment. But that's a part of the, the beauty of owning any mechanical clock. Part of the character of the clock, it's not like a, a quartz timepiece, but once you have them set, they're a beautiful addition to your home. Now we've got this beautiful clock from Hermley for full specifications. There's a list of, of further details, including the size and the chimes, everything that, that I've talked about. But if there's anything I've missed or you'd like some more information, please feel free to get in contact with us.